Hey guys, I'm Dan. So today we are going to add four new Shox figures to our Shox collection, okay? So these are also from Takara Tomi Arts, okay? Which are very similar to the previous Great White Shock, Hammerhead Shock, Basking Shock, and um, the Saw Shock right here, okay? So let's open the first one. Hopefully they are different. So let's see. So it comes with a leaflet. Let's have a look at this. So it basically shows, yep, you can see it has a great white shock, hammer hit, and this is supposed to be the goblin shock, I think. This one could be the mega mouth shock. So let's see. This one. Okay, we have to rip the pack open. It seems to be a hammer hit shock, but in a different color, which is nice. So we can do a comparison with this grey one right here. So we definitely need to fix the tail for this. So let's see. Okay, I think I've put it in the wrong direction. Just push it right in. Easily done. You can see it has a movable hit like the Takara Tomi NEA series. Very beautiful. Alright, Takara Tomi Arts. Let's do a very quick comparison. This one, yeah, you can see it is exactly the same. The sculpt is exactly the same except it has a new color. All right, so that's our first first egg right there, which is a gash upon. Let's open the second one. Um, I think this one is a quite a cool one. Let's see. All right. This one should be the goblin shark which is nice. We don't have the Goblin Shock version. So that is definitely something for us to display. Yet, I am going to display all of them in my shelf. In my shelf sitting next to me, which is right over there. So you can see I've actually displayed some of the Takara Tomi and Kyoto Sea Animals right there. All right. Um, yeah, and pardon me for my voice because I'm actually having a flu. I've been having a cold for for almost a week right now. Trying to get myself um, recovered. Okay, let's see how we can fix this. I think this has to be attached. Let's see, how do we actually do this? Okay, you have to put this on right here. Slot it in. And where does this go? Oh, okay, I've got it. So you have to put it right here. And assemble the body together. Okay, let's try this again. It's not easy. Okay. I think we are almost done. Yep, very nice. And now for the tail. I think this should be the right direction or is it the other direction? Hmm. Let's take a look at the leaflet. Okay, so the slanted part should be at the bottom. So it should be in this direction. Okay, so... Wow, and this one is actually super tight. I guess it's good because it will not come off so easily. So there you go, very nice, beautiful goblin shot right here. Yep, but the body seems to be slightly loose. Gonna try my best. Yep, it's a really awesome figure. Okay, let's just try to press this down as hard as possible. Yep, beautiful go goblin shot right here. So goblin shots along the mega mouth shots, they are like the basking shocks, they are actually quite hard to find. Okay, you're just gonna put this away. Let's open another one. Okay, seems like this is um tight right here, so I need to get um, a cutter to slice open the tape. Just give me a second. Yep, this is a beautiful one. It seems to be a mega mouth shock but i have no idea so let's open this wow this pack rips open very easily yep it definitely is a mega mouth shock 
I think we have to pop in the head right here easily done and now for the body I guess how do we even attach this let me attach the tail first and now for the body you have to remove this part slot it right in oops wrong decision to assemble the tail first okay yep nice you can see it doesn't fit perfectly i guess i've used some force i think this part the longer part should be on top so there you go mega mouth shock and it also comes with a diver so it's really beautiful okay so we have a mega mouth shock right here this is a goblin shock basking shock which is a filter feeder you know similar to a wheel shock um hammerhead shock two different hammerhead shocks saw shock or sawfish and the great white shock beautiful stuff so it's time for us to take a oh there's still one more i've totally forgotten about this i thought you know i didn't realize there's one more so let me open this let's see what this is it seems to be another great white let's have a look this doesn't open as easily as um the mega mouth Okay, let's get this open. Okay, it's this. Okay, let's let's see whether there's any accessories that comes along with the great white. Nope, only the mega moth comes along with the great white. So I'm gonna do a comparison with this because this one could be a megalodon. It could be. So let's assemble this. This one definitely seems to be very similar to the NEA shock but I feel that the NEA version is um, a lot better in terms of quality so I'm trying to open a mouth it doesn't really open up yeah I think this is a great white and this one should be a megalodon or oh, are they the same they look exactly the same the size yeah I think they are just two different great white shocks you know difference in, in colors so beautiful very very beautiful love them okay so what we are going to do now is to take a look at the rest of our shocks collection okay i'm gonna pour all the shocks out right here i'm gonna get all the shocks out i'm gonna go through them one by one together okay so let's go okay let's see what do we have um just give me a second. Let me just get all of the shots out in here on the table first. So you guys can have a very, very close look. Right. Plenty of shots. I think we should have at least 100 shots. Okay, so let's go. First one, we have a great white shock. Beautiful one from Safari LTD. This is what I've um, shown you guys just now. It's a saw shock or rather a sawfish okay here's a megalodon which is a prehistoric shark that is about 10 times the size of a modern day great white and here's another great white i'm gonna put all the great whites in this little corner right here this is a fruit shark our one and only fruit shark in our collection tiger shark quite recognizable because of his tiger stripes this is a shock ray okay and here what do we have right here wow this one seems to be a black tip rib shock not exactly sure but i think so this is a hammerhead that's for sure and this one is an oceanic white tip shock yep it's not a it's not a white tip rib shock 
Here is another great white. Or it could pass on as a Megalodon as well. Looks really beautiful, really huge. Mega Moth Shock. So just now I've shown you guys this one. So this is basically, you know, the Mega Moth Shock. Yep, this one is really beautiful from Takaratomi. I, lo I love it. Tiger Shock. You can see the stripes, easily recognizable. Safari LTD figure. Quite an, an old figure from 1991. This is a Shock Fin Mako Shock from Collecte. 2014 figure. Yep, hopefully you are able to get more new Shocks figures because I don't think the companies have released um, Shocks recently. Blue Shock. Let's see, what do we have right here? This is a Great White Shock, but I don't think this is an accurate representation because the snot is really too long. Another Great White. Plenty of Great Whites in our collection as you guys can see. Basking Shock. So um, there is a Basking Shock right here. So this is a Basking Shock from Takaratomi. Yep, so you can see the snout. It's very narrow. But the mouth is really wide. So you can open his mouth at a very wide angle to take in all the water and to filter out all the food particles. This is a Sand Tiger Shock. They may look very terrifying because of its teeth, but they are actually one of the shyest shark species out there. This is a Mako shark, okay, which is a very fast species of sharks out there. This is a salmon shark. You can easily recognize it by its spots on its body on the underside. This is a bamboo shark, okay. You can see the patterns on its body which has the, some stripes and um, yeah, this is why it's known as a bamboo shark. This one is the Scallop Hammerhead Shark from Safari, um, from Collecte. 2006, quite an old figure. You can see it has like curves on its hammerhead, which is very different from the usual hammerhead shark. This one is from 1991, super old. It's like 32 years old. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Another, okay, this is a boo shock. This is this figure is like, you know, very bit up. There's a lot of pain scratches and stuff like that on his body. 2010 figure from Safari LTD. Thrasher shock, um, wow, there's a bit of discoloration on his body, but I think it still looks good. 2014 figure, you can see it has a very long tail. Um, from Safari LTD and the Thrasher Sharks basically use its tail to thrash out to stun its prey before feeding on them. Here's another Basking Shark. So Basking Sharks, they may look very horrifying but they are actually very very harmless to humans. 2007 Safari LTD figure. Quite a nice one. I hope to get, add a few more Shark figures to my collection really soon. This is one um, from, you know, one of the budget packs. Great White Shark figures made of pure plastic, okay? This is another Great White Shark figure. I, I like this. I like, you know, the expression they have given it. Very cool. 1996, pretty old figure. And it looks very, very different from the usual Great Whites that um, are in my collection. Robber Gong, right here, which is a kind of a carpet shark, okay? This is the Black Tip Reef Shark, okay? 20... 12 figure from Safari LTD, very old figure as well. Okay, not, not exactly very old. This is another one of the um, budget packs um, sharks that, you know, it's in our collection. Leopard shark right here, or you can also call it a zebra shark. So zebra sharks and leopard sharks, they are basically the same, just that the patterns will change from like spots to stripes as they grow. 2007 figure from Safari LTD, nice. And here we have a lemon shark. Okay, so Lemon Shark, you know, it's basically, they get a name from its color. And this is a 2016 figure from Safari LTD. Shark Ray, right here. Okay, 2007 figure from Safari LTD. We do have quite a number of Shark Rays. This one is one that I've got off, um, you know, a China online store. Not the best looking one, but I think it's captured, you know, the um, intimidating look of the Basking Shark. But as I've mentioned, basking sharks, they are, they are no danger to human. This is a mini blue shark. Nice. Another shark ray. I think this has got to be our best shark ray figure. And it's from Collecte 2017. 
this is a bonnet head shock. You can see the hammer head is actually a lot shorter than the usual hammer head shocks. 2016. And this next one, let's have a look at um, let's see, Mega Mouth Shock. Yep, so Mega Mouth Shock can only be found in the very deep ocean waters. They are very, very hard to spot. And this is, you know, the Takara Tomi one that I've shown you guys. Of course, the head right here looks a little bit big, but you can see it has a huge mouth. Yep, so they are, I think, oh, oh my goodness. The tail just came off, so let me just try to fix it back first. So Mega Mouth Shock, I'm not too sure whether they are future feeders, but I think they are, they are very, very rarely seen. And here we have a Grey Reef Shock. Very nice. This one, I'm not exactly sure what species, but I am guessing it is a Salmon Shock because of the spots on its body. Hammerhead Shock, another one. So, yep. So in Takara told me, I've shown you guys two of them just now. One, it's a very pink looking hammerhead. The other, the other one is a more commonly known grey type version. Okay, so here's the other one. Um, we have two exact same figures. So I am guessing this is a salmon shark, but I'm not 100% sure. This is a nurse shark right here. You can easily recognize it by the two little fang-like structures in front of his face. Beautiful one. And this one is a mini black tip reef shark, I think. Scallop hammerhead, again. Let's see what else we got. Tiger shark, I've shown you guys this figure just now. We have two of them. 1993 Safari LTD figure. Pretty old, 30 years, yep to be exact and this is a leopard shark okay so you can also call this a lemon shark as well oh, sorry not a lemon shark a zebra shark so goblin shark right here guys so yep we have a figure of a goblin shark just now so i think this one is um you know definitely a, a better looking one that's for sure this one doesn't look so good the face looks a little bit distorted but this is this is true Goblin Sharks, they do have a very terrifying look and feel. Hammerhead Shark Baby right here. Okay, and this is another Hammerhead Shark, ha hammerhead shark Baby. Alright, let's see what else we've got. Saw Shark right here. Sawfish. And what is this? A small little Hammerhead Shark. This one, I'm not very sure. I'm calling this a Bull Shark. This is a mini great white, beautiful one. Zebra shark. Yep. This one I have no idea. I think some of you guys actually mentioned that this is actually a ghost shark. This is a wobbegong, that's for sure. This is a white tip reef shark. Yep. It's very different from the oceanic white tip reef shark. And this is a zebra shark as well which you can also call it a leopard shark because of the spots. So the rest are all, you know, mini figures. We have a whale shark right here. Um, this one is probably, I would say this is probably a bamboo shark. Saw shark right here. This is a great white, definitely. Um, another great white. And this figure looks like the Papo Megalodon. Papo Great White Shark to me. And here we have another Great White. Sawfish. Another Great White. Great White. Mini Hammerhead. This one, I'm not exactly very sure what it is. Yep. Alright, so yeah. So this is basically my Shucks collection. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll definitely be getting more of this Takara Tomi Shucks to add to my collection, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.